Richard, let's have some fun. I love doing burgers. Great. The kids thing. love it. Yep. You know, they sit back and then they get join in and have a bit of fun. I'm going to do a double burger, yep. beef. Yeah, I'm going to do a single with a lamb. Yeah. They're both your recipes though, right? Yep. So I'm going to do so your... So if it goes wrong, you're going to blame me, aren't you? Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> so you've got some minced beef, yeah. uh, 20% is chuck steak yeah. with a good percentage of fat, 15 yeah. to 20% fat. I've got some minced lamb, both from the butcher. Just tell them what you want and they'll sort it out for you. You're going to do, you're going to stuff yours, aren't you? So you've, yeah. all, you've got some little fancy bits over there yeah. on the plate. What's, uh, what's going on there? Three types of cheese. I've got the bacon <coughs> already pre-cooked because if you're going to put it in the centre of the burger, you've got to have it pre-cooked. Yeah. And the good old... Some gherkins. Mm. They're amazing, Lovely. aren't they? Nice little bit of... Uh, mm. No, so a and there. I'm going to put the Mississippi. Is that going to go in the burger? Or is that going yeah, to go no, on, it's on in the, the burger? Bun? In, in the, the middle, middle of the burger. Well. Okay, bring it all in. Let's get going then. Brilliant. Because we can stand here and talk all day, but people want to watch this and watch how it gets cooked. Yeah. So, we might as well get on with it. Roll that up. Okay. So with this, I'm going to take some of the mince. I'm going to take enough for two burgers, and then it's just a case of how much mint sauce would you put in here? I'm going to put a couple of dollops in. Yeah. Good is that dollops. Enough? Yeah. Technical term, dollops, um, and These then mix that in. The good. I'm going to just put a little bit of salt and pepper on here as well. Might look like a lot. Again, it's a sea salt and it's uh, cracked black pepper. It's not as intense as your refined table salt. So burger press. Talk to me about the burger press. How have They're they really, gone for you? Yeah, really good. Really good. I like them because you can, you know, you. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me, but when I go to somebody's house, I want to help out. I want to help cooking. What can I do? And you've got people that might come to your house and say the same yeah. thing. You can give them this, even kids, as you mentioned, get the kids doing this, because the great thing is they make evenly shaped burgers. Yeah. And my, one of my top tips is if you, if you have evenly shaped food and you cook it at the same time, it will cook and then be finished in the same, at the same point as well. So Look at this. Um, this. just mixing it all together, the mint smells. Look at yours, yeah. not just... I know, it was a heart attack waiting to happen, but there you are. I'm That's slightly jealous fun. now, but I wanted you to do that one because I wanted to see how you did it. So I've got the mince lamb yeah. with the mince, uh, with the mint sauce, sorry. Smell that. Lovely. Love a bit of mint sauce. So that goes, might be a little bit too much, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to put that on there. Put it in the centre of the uh, centre of the base. I've got it on the thin side. It looks... <coughs> it's good, doesn't it? <laughs> and then you give that a good push down. Make sure that those are evenly squeezed all the way around. And then to get it out, take the base off. Take the base out like that. You might think it's stuck in there. Give it a good... Sharp tap, two or three, and then that comes out. And then we're going to do the same. Look at that. Not only am I faster, wow. but this is perfect. You should do Rare the demos from now on. <laughs> so second one in. But this is great fun. Kids Isn't love it? doing Look this. Look at that. And when you get into the middle, yeah. you get a nice surprise with your food. So these are really ready to go, aren't they? Yeah. So over to the grill. We got it preheated. It's just, actually we'll just crank it up a little bit. It's just over half. It'll come up to heat, but we've had it preheated. So around about 220, grill's nice and clean. Before we put that on, Brussels, we're just going to oil, because yeah. you've got the oil in yeah. the grill or oil in the food, haven't you? So using one of the um, silicon basin brushes that you have here, just using a high temperature oil, like a, a vegetable oil or a rapeseed oil, just give that a good brush. That yeah. comes out for cleaning purposes, um, so you, you can get that nice it. and clean. I haven't later. broken it. I will take it out my, there we go. So on they go. Place them somewhere near the middle, and they'll cook evenly. Lid down. Lid down. You can see the smoke already. That's going to give us flavour. Yeah. Lid down cooking. Three reasons. Reduces flare up. Yeah. Stops the oxygen getting in there. Stops the oxygen in, creating excess flare up. Nice barbecue smoky flavour. Yeah, definitely. And your and food's going to cook quicker as don't well. Don't forget, my one's going to take longer to cook. Yours is going to cook quicker. Burger. We'll come back and we'll Not talk quicker, to you. Slower. Slower. Sorry. Yeah. Almost getting it wrong. Uh, but we'll come back when the burgers are ready to turn over and we'll talk about. Do the technical stuff and I'll do the. Uh, yeah, chef you do the technical. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, so we'll come back when, when, and we'll talk about how we know when those, when those are ready to turn yeah. over. Yeah? Okay, Brilliant. see you in a minute. So this is the trick we try and tell everybody. But let's show them how to do it. Yep. So this these is, have been this on is, three minutes. This is how to know when your food's ready to turn over when you're grilling, isn't it? So we oil the grill. Now we're going to see if the food comes away nice and easily, it's ready to turn over. Look what at that colour. Look at that. Beautiful. It's not charred, it's caramelised. When you open the lid, you might get a few little bits See of flare it. up. You've introduced loads of oxygen to the cook box. So we just put the lid down. Yeah. Turn it, it over, put the lid down. And don't forget, mine's going to take longer than yours. Yours is so going to take longer. So we'll that. check, we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll check mine. Yeah. We'll probably be ready to come off and then we'll see if we need to turn the heat down on the yeah. barbecue just to cook yeah. yours through. Lovely. But yeah, we'll come back in a minute. Yeah. 
Right, shall we have a look? Yours has got to be ready by yeah, now. Yeah, it's got to be ready, so... Tip of the probe, centre of the burger. Oh, that's oh, in yeah. Fahrenheit. Easy mistake to make. 73, 74, yeah. 75. Yeah, that one's ready to come off. I'll take that off in a second. 75, oh, yeah. again, all good to go. So, important to use a second utensil, clean one for cooked food. You don't want any cross-contamination. So I'm going to take mine off. I'm Are you going to toast your buns? Yes. Yeah. There's not, mine's not far off, I mean. Yours isn't far off. Why don't we turn, I think we should turn the heat down on this a little bit, yeah, do you think? Yeah. So down from medium, yeah. down to minimum, we've got good caramelization on the outside of those burgers, haven't we? Yeah. We just need them to cook through now. So Sit. lid down, toasted buns, yeah. back in about a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Richard, your buns are ready. Look at those. Yeah, don't worry about hands on it. Look, Look at those, right. Mine ready. So we've got our lettuce here. Actually, I might just go in with a little bit of, a uh, little bit of mayo on the bottom, on the bottom bun. Get that on. I love a good toasted bun. Oh, mine, mine's right. ready. How are you getting on with yeah, yours? Mine's ready. Yeah? Awesome. I'm going to take it out. I've got a clean one here. Wonderful. I'm just going to go lettuce. Nice classic lettuce. Burger on top. I've just put a few slices of brie on there. I just uh, yeah, had the cheese. I just spied the you're cheese. You're copying now, aren't you? Sorry. A little bit of that over the top. Barbecue sauce. Can we go? Or is no, that a bit I too much? No, I'm I fine wouldn't with actually, mine. You know. No, I'm fine with mine. I'm just going to sit that in there like that, a bit of lettuce -y. That goes Always on, top. on top. And then that. if we... Push it down. And normally I would just pick it up and eat it, but I want to show what it looks like. That's all you I've got. got it. Awesome. Look at that. Cooked all the way through. Is this where we have a bite and we now can't Now this is talk? the challenge. Look at that. Amazing. All the, all, the all the way through. nice and gooey. You've got the saltiness in the centre yeah. as well. Right, I don't care about you. I'm going to okay. have a bite. We're going in. Mm. The mint. Mm. Oh my word, that's good. Mm. Mint with the lamb. A little bit of goo from the brie, the gooey texture with the brie on the top. All there's the flavours. There's nothing wrong with a good summer classic barbecue is there with burgers and sausages no. but do it right yeah use the difference between the direct and the indirect heat monitor the heat use the temperature probe was. oil the grill use the temperature probe turn your food over when it's ready to go listen if i can cook and i you know i won't cook can't cook but i can do some amazing stuff on barbecues i think you've got two decent Richard, recipes here i think people can have great fun with this and this has been good fun to do and thank, thank you. you very much i think you need to try this at home yeah yes <laughs>